Hello coders, in this video we're going to take a look at two types of variables in GameMaker, that's global variables and instance variables. There will also be a follow-up video that talks about local variables. And those are your three main types in GameMaker that you should know when and how to use all three. So here we go. Global variables. Global variables are a very easy type of variable to use and they're basically shared by the entire program. And so you can see here I have a level which is one and points zero. These are global variables and here's how I made them. I have an object called global and in its create event I have global.points0, global.level1. Now yes, you have to use this word global and no, you do not have to make an object called oglobal. Okay, you can make these types of variables anywhere you want in any object in any event. And when you put the word global in front, this is talking about what they call the scope, where the variable can be used. A scope of global means basically everywhere in the program. So anywhere in the program, you can freely use this variable. For example, when the ghost gets hit by an arrow, I can just say global points goes up by 1. If the global points is over 10, go to the game over room. Okay, there's no requirements, nothing weird you have to do. Just use the variables. Global variables uh, are very good for values that don't need to be unique to each object. For instance, a score. The game has one score. Might be a good candidate for a global variable. If the game has a level, there's only one level. Well, global.level. If uh, you're keeping track of the number of, I don't know, kills the player has, global.kills could be an option, right? There's only one of them. Very nice to keep track of values. Um, when you go to draw them out, here's a draw object I've made here. I'm going a little slow here. There's the draw object, draw. Again, nothing special. You can see here, when I go to draw it out, I can just draw out the string of global level and global points, and it all works. As opposed to the next type of variable I'm gonna show you, which are instance variables, you have to sort of go inside the object to access them. Okay, two different ways, but here's I have to use a with O player to access the player's hit points or the player's ammo right before I draw it. So there's a little bit of an extra step, still easy to use, but not as direct and easy. Okay, you'll just see in my program here, just show it working. You'll see my points go up here, I get some arrows on the ghosts. And you'll see my points and level work. Now what you're also going to notice is this here. You're going to notice that the ghost has its hit points of 2, and this ghost now has a hit points of 1. This is an example of when a global variable would not be good. You can't have a variable, let's say you have 100 ghosts. You're not going to type out 100 variables. Maybe you have something making new ghosts. Well, <clears throat> it's hard to make new variables as the ghosts are being made. You don't want to do that. There's a much easier way. What I can do is I can tell every ghost that's made to have its very own hit point variable. This is called an instance variable. So you'll see here, this instance HP is 2. This ghost is instance variable is 1. And if I had more ghosts, they each have their very own. Same thing with the player. I actually gave the player not a global hit points, but I gave the player their own hit points. So let's just go check out how this is done. Uh, I'll just go show you in the player. Here's the player create. Usually it's done in create, and all you just say is this. So basically, don't write the global. Just say hit points is 100, potions is 0, ammo is 20, right? And these are variables owned by the player. If the player dies, those variables die. They're gone. If the player is created, all these variables get created in the create event, and they're set to those values, right, that are made when they start. Uh, there's a lot of other instance variables that are already made for you. Like, you know you could say speed 4, direction 90. They turn red, right? These are the built-in ones. So every object or instance gets these variables automatically made. You don't have to make those. They're there already. Anything extra you make in here, okay, that's what you customize and add on yourself. Now, for the player, you could have made the player's hit points global. There's only one player, only one value. It could work. But here's what you couldn't do. You couldn't do it with the ghosts. We can't have a couple of ghosts all sharing one global hit point variable. That means there'd be one variable in memory, let's say set to three, every ghost would have three. As Soon as you said global hit points goes down by one, that variable goes to two, and then all the ghosts would be sharing that one variable, right? So that's not good. 
So what I do in the ghost is I give it an instance variable in the create event, and I set it to 3. And notice, I can call it HP. Even though the player has HP, doesn't matter. That's the player object's HP. This is every ghost will have this HP. So if you have a 1,000 ghosts on the screen, you literally have a 1,000 HP variables in memory. Each one belongs to one instance of each, you know, of the ghost. So you'll see here when I get hit by an arrow, a particular ghost has just been hit by an arrow. That ghost will run the I got hit by an arrow code, which is here. It's global points, sorry, the global points goes up, right? And just a little bit lower down here. And HP goes down by one. If the HP is under zero, this instance gets destroyed. This HP is the HP of the ghost, that one ghost that got hit by the arrow. So that's the big thing with instance variables, right? They are owned by the instances. So when you need each instance to keep track of its own value, you use an instance variable. Now, what's the downside of instance variables? Well, the downside of instance variables is once the object dies or is destroyed, the variables are gone, right? So that's one possibly a downside. The other downside is it's a little harder to access the variables. You'll see here in the draw object, the draw event, if I do want to know what the variable of the player is, and I won't take the global ones, I'll take, let's say, the player's HP variable, you'll see what I had to do here. I just can't say draw text string HP. My draw object that I'm inside of, it doesn't have an HP variable. I'm going to get an error. So what I have to do is I have to say, use the player of hey player go inside the player and now the players running this code so that's one option another option was to do this and this isn't the best option it can lead to a few little errors but I could have said something like this string and to access the variable inside the object I could have said o player dot HP okay and so this goes inside the player object and accesses the hit points. Now, that works pretty well for that. But just be warned that if you try to do this with ghost HP, uh, part of the problem is there's more than one ghost, right? If you try to do this, you don't get an error. Ghost objects do have an HP, but pretend right now you had uh, five ghosts on the screen. Which ghost HP is it going to access, right? Well, GameMaker keeps a little list of the ghosts, and whatever the first ghost in GameMaker's list is, that's going to be the HP you end up seeing when this is drawn out. So this is sort of frowned upon a bit, like don't do this or this. It's better to use the with, or if you can write the code inside the object that owns the instance variable, that's always a good option too. Okay, But just to let you know that those are options that will work for you, right? When you have instance variables and you're trying to access them, from outside of the object. Um, that's really it. Uh, the basics, there's a few more little details, but that's enough to get you going on global and instance. The next video, I'm going to talk about local variables, which is a very, I think, unused variable type. A lot of people don't even know what they are, never even use them. Uh, they use instance variables instead, but check out the local variables. They're useful, and they do have some useful purposes in your programs uh, that let you do things you can't do with the global and the instance. Thanks for watching.